Okay, you guys, this is our next little YouTube video. Having a little technical difficulty, but it's okay. We're going to do our best anyway. I want to discuss eye protection, readers, um, maybe a little bit about sunglasses, shop glasses, things like that. But definitely protecting the eyes, whether it be from the sun, work environment, or using magnifiers and stuff like that. It can be extremely interesting and hopefully I give you guys a few ideas I'm older than probably most people that will watch this video so that's why I use this stuff you may not need to but maybe you might find something interesting here alright I'll probably want to start with the largest one here the Carson this is a death bite this one right here and it has a light nice color also nice daylight color so it doesn't look offset when you're looking at something doesn't give it that yellowish tint so I like the light a lot I don't remember exactly what I paid for but it's called Despite uh, they're all over the place and it works really good I had it for a long time my wife has a tendency to leave the battery on the light on so the batteries wear out pretty quickly so gotta try to remind her to turn it off yeah I think this is a two times and possibly uh, or 2.5 possibly a five times a little Doppler here on top right here okay has a little bit of weight to it to the base not a lot but very versatile because the gooseneck it has you can actually move it up and down and you can get it very close to a subject so you can see what you're working on a lot better okay so that's why I like that one a lot and I don't have an issue starting off with that one I think you guys would do good if you need something for around the house uh, most of these can work very well if you get a splinter in your hand and you're trying to pull it out you can't see what you're doing having a gooseneck like that it is a great idea. Uh, if you're looking at coins, you're buying silver, uh, you're looking at stamps, stuff like that. Um, a lot of these ideas and concepts can come in handy for different things, especially the older you get like me. Okay, so let's take the desk sprite out of the way since you guys got an idea about that. Three AAA batteries, okay, three of them. Um, has not, don't know how long I had it, maybe eight to ten years, uh, still works. <laughs> Okay, no issues, except the wife weighs out the batteries. Okay. Next one would just be something simple. It's basically for... For... Uh, doing makeup and stuff like that. Uh, shaving. Um, checking other things. While you're shaving, facial hairs, whatever it is. Uh, eyebrows, makeup, lipstick, uh, women and stuff like that. Um, I don't know anything about that, but it works pretty good. It's nice travel, and having a light is a nice uh, idea, so you can see a little bit better. It only has one side, I believe. Let me double check that. Oh, it has two sides. Excuse me. I blew that one. <laughs> and the light goes on both sides. So that's nice. Uh, I'm not sure about the magnification on this one. I believe this is just a travel unit. We probably purchased somewhere in like Best Buy. Right over there so I don't know the price on that one but it's smaller it's more compact and you can travel with it and it has a stand also so nice uh, no issue with that one okay and I don't know how long we had this uh, several years and it still works maybe three to five years I don't know it still works <laughs> so I guess if you take care of them they can come in very handy and we can uh, get a lot of use out of them Okay, these are readers I'm going to put on right here. This one right here, the ones in front, these are made by Foster Grant. And I bought those at Farm Fresh. Probably overpaid for them, about 30 something dollars. Not sure if they have real glass. They, uh,. Staying up pretty fast, so I'm thinking this plastic is not actually real glass. And but they have the smoothest transfer uh, magnification from all the other ones that I found so far. So I'm glad I have them, and I try not to lose them. Okay, I think these are either 1.5. Uh, I believe they're 1.5. I find that the higher the magnification, the less depth of, depth of field is in focus, which is a photography, video, cinematic, filmmaking term. Basically means if you have per se at one times this whole table might be in focus 
If you have a 1.5, you might be getting one and three quarters being focused. If you have a two, might be only 50% of this table will be in focus. That would be the depth of field, what's actually in focus. I find the higher the magnification, the less that's in focus and the more fidgety it is to work with. So just something to relate to you guys, okay? I'm gonna put them on so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better because I can't necessarily see what I'm doing that great, okay? I'm trying to get a little bit closer over here. So, give me a second. Oops, okay, that should be a little bit better. Put on my readers so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay. These are, uh, see where they came from. It's got a name there. Bold, B A L D R dash A F and the number on it. And Ergodyne, E R G O D Y N E. Ergodyne, that's where they're from. But they're not readers at all, they're basically eye protection. And the whole thing with these is they're indoor outdoor. And this style I believe is being uh, removed. I like the style when I saw it online, but when I put it in person, they're a little large and they don't wrap around as nice as I would like to. They kind of look a little bit bulky. So I'm going to keep them, especially since they're indoor outdoor. I think they're great for driving. I'm going to keep them in the car. I'm not going to lose my money on these. I don't remember, maybe 20 bucks from Home Depot. I think you can see the company Ergodyne on Home Depot. So that's somewhere to look, okay? Uh, they got a lot of different choices. There's a lot of different manufacturers. And they're all nice. Uh, having some sort of eye protection. They're not heavy. The dimples uh, here in the back for the earpieces are very flexible. So all that is nice. Okay, something to consider. A very good company called Ergodyne. Okay? Move that one out of the way, we keep going to the next one. <laughs> Since we are on eye protection, I also have another set of readers in the car. I bought them from Walmart. I paid like 20 bucks for two sets. And they don't quite as clear from peripheral to the center as the Foster Grants. The Foster Grants seem to be clearer. So that's nice. I like the way the Foster Grants work. I did pay my money for them and they do seem to work a little bit better. I got two times on those. So again, I got less field of view in focus, but I can get a little sharper image, a little larger image to look at, okay? This is just a case. Those I got from Walmart, I have one of them, it's in a case. Because I keep it in the car, I'm not trying to scratch them, beat them up. A little plastic case I, I got somewhere. Could have been for my wife, she uh, has a ton, ton of bags, ton of glasses, a ton of readers and this is just an old, excuse me, old pouch I had lying around and I just happened to put them in there because they seem to fit in there. Now these are something special. I went to actually Home Depot. The Ergodynes I believe are UV rated also. You guys want to check the UV rating also against the sun. You're outside in the summertime. And I noticed wearing glasses in the summertime, if you're wearing sunglasses or whatever you're wearing, they should be extremely like this. You get irritated out in the heat and you're perspiring or you're working hard, people calling you 40 times a day, like they call me. <laughs> um, the more hot spots you get on your ears, your nose, wherever, using a pair of eye protection or eyewear, the more irritating the eyewear is probably going to feel and you're not going to use it. So something to consider. These are made by 3M. Went to Home Depot, wanted to get a pair of glasses. I forgot what set I was looking for. And these fit real nice. They have nice wrap around. What I don't like is they're expensive, they're $25. The, the eyepieces, really flexible, really light. Uh, $25 is not a joke. It's supposed to have good protection, uh, some kind of uh, rating on the plastics, and also supposed to be UV rated for a clear set of glasses. I've never seen that before. Maybe you guys can uh, tell me what you guys know about that, if that's correct. But definitely you can find those at Home Depot. That's why I got those for $25. I didn't buy anything cheaper than that because I didn't, wasn't sure. And they were not available for me to try them on. But I did buy them and I do have a chubby face. You guys can see me. I think in my previous video you can see me actually using these glasses or maybe one or two of my other 
of just before the intro, the previous video to this one I'm putting up today. Okay, these are outstanding. I can't say enough for these. I'm extremely happy with these. Okay, I'm kind of afraid I don't want to scratch them. I don't want to beat them up. And if they have UV protection and I can use them for work in the summertime and I can use them for protection if I'm using some kind of liquid drain cleaner. I don't want to get anything in my eyes. Using power tools, you know, you're trying not to get sawdust in your eyes and stuff like that. This That set of glasses will help out tremendously, okay? Cases is always a good idea. I don't care how cheap your glasses are. Okay, now we get into some magnifiers. <laughs> this one is kind of odd. So what's this doing here? Well, if you're in a forensic scientific field, uh, you might be using photography for magnification for a subject or something like that. Okay, uh, this is just a macro lens. True one-to-one -one magnification. It says it right there. Macro, one-to-one. -one. <laughs> Hoping you guys can read that. Let me just put it up there. You guys make sure you guys got that. It's kind of important. Uh, they make so many different style of magnification lenses. Uh, that's a 2.8, f2.8, so it's a fast aperture and low light. Things like that. And it's pretty sharp. Can match the megapixels on uh, my EOS R30 megapixels wide open. That's the main reason I went after that. And it's also cheaper than, per se, the Canon counterpart, which is a great lens. I just couldn't afford it at the time, so that's why that's there. Okay, using camera for magnification for different subjects, uh, putting it in your computer and actually blowing it up, see what you're actually looking at, can be helpful at times for different things you're looking at. Uh, again, stamps, coins, stuff like that. Okay? Okay. There's one missing. Where'd it go? There it is. Let me go get it. Oh, nice one this in here. <laughs> uh, that one's called MM300, again by Carlson. Has a little light 60 to 120 times magnification. Now, if you guys remember, I said that uh, the, the more magnification, the less depth of field is, so it's hard to work with. But it comes with something genius. That would be the 60 to 120, and this is a focus ring. Plus, it has a light. Very, very cool. <laughs> uh, for very intricate, small stuff. I mean, also compact for traveling. Is it the greatest? Is it as good as, as a microscope? No. Is it doable? Yes. Something to consider. <laughs> okay. Works good. Uh, definitely acceptable. Not very expensive. I think under $15. Again, made by Carson. Okay. Nice. I like this one. I haven't used it a lot, but I like it. This one is different. This one's actually made for, for negatives on film. If you focus on a flat surface like this, it's 10 times. And it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's a little bit off on the edges but in the center is pretty good you can move it around you can take a look at something like a stamp uh, negatives um, other things like that it could be material leather cloth uh, stitching things like that it's actually not very expensive and again from the same company it's probably the best company I know about Carson I guess that's why the bulk of these are Carson because they are readily available they're inexpensive and they work decently they're not great tools this Bosch and Long there's probably numerous others I'm not even sure if Nikon is into the, some of this stuff, but if they are, it ain't going to be cheap. It ain't going to be in this price range. So I'm just being honest about that, okay? This one's nice to consider. Ten times. Okay, some, something to consider. If you're working on something flat, it would be underneath that clear dome, would be flat. This would work very nice. Okay. Haven't cleaned this one. <laughs> This one, I think it's called a Sure Grip. It comes in different sizes and it's pretty dirty. I have it, sorry, I didn't clean it. Let me see if I can get my shirt to it real quick. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. She's pretty beat up. 
had it for a long time. I believe the same thing too, a 2.55, something like that. Uh, works good, doesn't have a light, has a great grip. The small dot there is the probably the 5, excuse me. She's really scratched up pretty bad, but she still works good. <laughs> I can't really say it. It's nice being large. I had a small one was in the shop, it kind of grew legs. <laughs> but uh, definitely one of the more common ones you will see people buy. They will buy something like this first. Okay? Uh, and they're good. They're, this one has a little bit of weight to it on the head. And I can't break it so far. I'm not trying to break it. I'm not trying to drop it or step on it or nothing like that. But so far it hasn't broken. Probably five years. Okay. Sure grip. Again, made by Carson. Okay. We don't have that much more to go. <laughs> okay. Uh... This one comes in its own little pouch. The other one might be called the MM300, that little gray one. This one right here. Okay. This is kind of companion to that. They come in different vocals. I think this is a number seven times. And I believe there's a number nine and possibly a number 15 or something like that. This one I couldn't find. I got this from B&H Photo. Didn't pay a lot for it. Has a light that goes on and off. On the top. Or on the bottom. Okay, because there's a magnifier on the bottom there. Of course you can't see it. But there's a magnifier on the bottom there. Maybe you can see it now. Yep, you can maybe see, or see that now. Um, never used the one on the bottom. But like the one on the top. It works pretty good. Again, made by Carlson. Alright, this one is seven times. It works pretty good. It comes with its own little pouch. Sometimes you don't need something that's 60 to 120. That's a little high. <laughs> uh, other times you might be. And it's nice to have something travel like this. I think a lot of you guys do as you saw because they have shops. You're starting to see more uses for this as I discussed in the video, okay? I'm going to try to work a little faster because the video is getting a little long. And I don't like to be too long-winded in the video, so I apologize, okay? But I'm thinking some of you guys will find some of this interesting, so that's the, what the whole idea of the video is about. I hope you guys are using your eye protection. I hope uh, you guys uh, have adequate lighting so you can see what you're doing. Because all this comes hand in hand. Just having a light and not having eye protection or vice versa doesn't quite work together as well okay considerations this is the last one people are gonna say well that's a but that's a water what do you mean this and anyway, work it there right <laughs> um, cell phone you can take pictures this is an iPhone 6 uh, use Verizon wireless $45 a month uh, works out pretty well for me no contract no nothing when you Taking pictures with this, I didn't know you can pinch and you can zoom in. It's a digital zoom, but nevertheless, it's a magnifier. You can read labels better. And you don't have to take the picture while you before you take it. It'll do it for you, and you're actually looking at what you want to see before you take the picture. Now, you can take the picture normal or actually zoomed in. Nice to you to know that's on there. There's also a light on, on most of these phones or some kind of app with a light on it. So that's nice to know that's on there. Okay, so your phone, you carry it with you. What, 95% of the time? <laughs> um, most people, anyway, I'm on call 24-7, so I have to carry with me. And, yes, in a pinch, in a bind, there's a light on there. There's a uh, little camera. I can take videos. I shoot shooting dirty videos, quick and dirty videos for YouTube sometimes. I don't like it. I don't have a stand to put it up. I have to pause, show you kind of a still version of what I want you to see, and then go back to the next part. But uh, it's uh, very useful. I just got to figure out how to mount it <laughs> areas I'm working at because I don't have time to work. Um, maybe a magnetic uh, mount might work in certain uh, places. Places, excuse me, a clamp might work in other places. So things I got to consider for this year. Take more work videos on the job, on the site for you. 
Okay? So definitely works as a magnifier. The last one is actually in there. Some of you guys might have saw it already. <laughs> it's uh, basically the height and the width of a credit card, so it fits in there, but it's uh, not as thick as a credit card. So you can use multiple ones in there if you want. I know a lot of you guys know about these card readers. <laughs> uh, this one's kind of beat up, but it still works really good. I'm really happy with it. And I have a couple of spares in there I keep with me. Uh, usually you see a card reader, you see they're larger. I think I got those on eBay for a few dollars. Not very much. And when I got nothing else, I can't find my readers for whatever reason. I can't see what I'm doing. I want to look at uh, information on a can of food or a bag of food I'm buying to see how many chemicals is in there I can't pronounce. <laughs> and I have to put it back on the shelf. Uh, looking at medication, something like that, um, see what I'm hopefully getting. This is what helps me out at the last resort, even after my phone, because it's hard to work with your phone and the magnification pinching it. With this, I only have to work with the card, move it back and forth, and whatever container I'm looking at. Okay? I think I got as much information I could for you guys. Maybe you have your own video up on this. This is just out of the whim uh, from the gut, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.